In this video, I'm going to show you some advanced building tips in Sons of the Forest that you can use to make some extremely cool things and just to make better structures, better buildings in general, and also just give you some good ideas for things that you could build or things you could add on to buildings you already have. All right, the first tip that I have is about the rope gun. If you need to know how to get the rope gun, check out the description of this video. So rope guns by default can go decently far. So I could say go from that tree all the way up to the base or something like that up there. But it turns out you can actually go extremely far with a zip line if you do something else. What you can do is you can shoot an object and then you can go walk the zip line over to its maximum distance and then place it down. And that will let you extend the distance of a zip line significantly. So right here is an example of the maximum zip line distance. If you go any further than this, the zip line will break and it won't let you place it. But you can go all the way across this lake with a single zip line, which makes certain structures much easier to build. It makes it much easier to connect the distant base buildings. Uh, so hopefully this tip helps you out. This one is super cool. All right, let's move on to another advanced building tip. All right, so let's talk about rope bridges. You can see here I've got two different rope bridges. Uh, they can only go a maximum height. If you don't know how to build these things, you'll need um, a log like this one right here to base it off of, and you'll see an arrow like this. And in some cases, you'll have to have a seven stack of logs in order for it to give you the option. But for tree houses in particular, it just lets you do it like this. Uh, but on the ground, you'll need a seven stack. So you're going to go ahead and click that. And once you click that, you can just walk it over wherever you want to go. Now, there's a maximum angle it can go, but they can go pretty far to the side. You can see here the max angle, which allows a lot of leeway in the angles of your rope bridges, which are great for connecting tree houses. But you'll be able to see here, I could connect it all the way down here. In order to connect these, I would just go over to this right here. Apparently, I need to add one, actually. Apparently, yeah, I only had six. I need seven. Okay, so I added the seventh one real fast. And then it'll click on like that and then it'll give you an option for another one you click on and then you'll just take logs and you'll just add planks so i just want to make sure you know how to make rope bridges rope bridges are a very advanced building that you can use to make extremely cool stuff uh and then in order to place the log it just depends on i think which one you started on or something it's very inconsistent trying to place it. you can just jump and click sometimes and place them or start on a side and place them or walk along the bridge it just depends on which way you did it Another advanced building tip is to place your logs on the ground instead of leaving them. So like you can just leave them like this, right? But you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you put them on the ground uh, in some some way or some way, shape or form. Now, this is not efficient, obviously. It'd be more efficient to stack them up like the wall over there. But always, always, always stack your logs before you leave. Because if you go too far away, they'll despawn. Also, there's a maximum number that can be out in the world at a time, like 50 or something. So if you just keep on cutting down trees, eventually they'll start despawning instead of making more. And also, if you save the game and then load the game, they'll all disappear. So always place your logs down before you leave or before you like reload your game or something. This next tip's not really advanced, but I just want to make sure that you know it's a thing because I actually didn't know for the longest time what was happening. So you know how you can, you can pick up two logs at a time. And when they're free form like this, you may have a thing that I always had happen, which is I couldn't figure out what was happening. I know some of you are probably laughing at this when you see it. Um, so if a log is free like that and you want to double pick up two logs, you have to tap it, not hold. If there's two logs, you're holding one and you hold the button, then it'll just replace it. But holding the button will pick up two if you're going to pick it up off of a like already placed log, basically. So I know it's a pretty basic tip, actually, but I want to make 100% sure you know because it's extremely important to know that long term. The next tip that I have is also very, very helpful for any advanced builders. It's that these zip lines that you make with the rope gun, you can actually send logs off on them. It doesn't make any sense at all, but you can do it and actually send logs off so that, you know, you, it's, a, it's a great way to transport logs to places that don't have a lot of logs. Or if you've, you know, cut all the trees down in an area and you're having to run the logs a really long distance. So say my base has no trees left. I could set up a zip line some far off place that has trees like this and just cut down trees and then ship the logs and then cut down more trees and ship the logs. Assuming you're not log duping, which if you're log duping, then you don't need to. And if you don't know how to log dupe while it's still in the game, check it out. It's in the description of this video along with lots of other helpful videos for this game. The next advanced building tip is knowing about alternatives to defensive wall gates since they have they don't exist yet in the game. Maybe the next patch they will. But whether they have it or not, there's lots of alternatives that you can come up with. I have a video about five alternatives to get you started on alternate ways to get over like walls like this. Uh, one was this rope ladder system that I have here. And you climb up and the backside you can just, you know, walk off. 
Um, another one is the, um, you can put down these angled ones and then be able to walk over and the cannibals will not be able to figure out how to get over something like this. Uh, there's lots of different creative ways that you can get over walls if you know what you're doing. Which brings me to another tip here that is extremely helpful for advanced building. So say you have a wall or something and you want to build near it. You know how like things latch on and you can't place things how you want to place them. Hold on, I got to kill some cannibals. Okay, so like I was saying, it won't let you build near it because it latches it on and does weird things. Well, instead what you can do to try to force structures to make like weird intersections and things is you can actually just place it away from it. Maybe like right here. Here, let's say you'll have to eyeball it and play with it until you get it right. But advanced builders will know how to do this and eventually get things how they want. And then you can freeform an angled one and you can try to get it to where it's right into the base of the wall. And then you can grab another one and lift it up. And then you've got another like junction point into a wall that you otherwise would not be able to make. And this allows you to make some very advanced structures and some really crazy stuff. So uh, that tip is like extremely important for anyone who wants to do advanced building in this game. The next tip I have is how to work with scaffolding. At least that's what I call it. So say you're trying to build a structure that's very tall, like two stories, three stories or something. And you know, you can't actually build very high. So you, like the simplest way to be able to build very high is to build scaffolding around it in order to access things. So the simplest form of what I call a scaffold or scaffolding is to place down um, Place down a log somewhere nearby. Now, this is a bad example because of the way these walls latch on and things. Uh, we, this is where we could actually abuse the, cheat, the glitch I talk, talked about, where we could do this in order to get it closer if we need to. So, we could do this. And then the basic form of scaffolding is to then just extend this up like this. You put one here. And then you put one right here. And now you got higher and now you can get up to your structure and jump up on it or build on it from the side or whatever. And if you need to go higher, you'll just keep on expanding your scaffolding. So say I wanted to go higher, I would now lift this end. And then do this. And we'll take one of these. And then we'll lift this end. Put this one down and then we'll grab two more. And now for a three-story building, now we have a three-story scaffold that we can get onto to get next to it. So knowing how to build one of these real quick will save you a lot of time, save you a lot of resources, makes it a lot easier to build very tall buildings if you know how to plop one of these down real fast in order to access the higher levels of a building that you're trying to make. The next tip I have is knowing how to build in water. Now, if you don't know how to build in water, you can check out a video I have that's all about this. It goes into much more detail. But what you'll do is you'll find water that's shallow, like deep, but not too deep. And then you'll go out as far as you can without swimming. Once you swim, you'll throw your logs. You'll place one down, and then you'll determine the angle of your water structure based on this very first one. That's how you determine the angle. So let's say we go at this angle. Then what we'll do is we'll grab more logs, and then there's a trick we can do in order to build out into the water. It gets very complicated, though, so I'm not going to go into super detail here like I did in the other video. But basically, you'll go like this, and then you'll take one, and then you'll go over to the other side and you'll place under like this and it'll sometimes throw the log away or sometimes it'll just place it. I've had someone tell me that you could hold D and it'll do it and it literally doesn't work. Uh, so, it, you know, in this case, it threw it away. So now you'll grab more and you'll come back, but now it's all janked out like that. And in order to fix it now, what you'd have to do is have a, a nearby one that's also broken. So you can go like this and then you could place one like that over here. And then try to catch this log. And now we got two that are broken, but they're nearby. So now it'll let us fix uh, this one. I think it might let us fix this one too. No, they're just gonna let us fix this other one. So it's very janky, and you can see my other full video on how to do this. Uh, but there, it is possible to build in water by doing stuff like this and like leveling it and stuff. And I would recommend watching that video if you want to know a lot. Cause I mean, it's literally like it would take many minutes to explain the whole water building process. But it's something you can do. And advanced builders know how to do it. This is the basics of how to do it. Uh, and if you want to know all the details of how to do it, then definitely check out that other video in the description of this video. The last advanced tip, a lot of you will probably already know, but I just want to make sure that you are aware. Uh, if you open up your guidebook, it has all the different things that you can currently make in the game. There's two modes. There's this mode, and then there's the mode in your left hand. The left-handed mode will actually place a structure where you'll fill in all the details like by adding things. And then it'll make that exact structure. 
and then the other options are going to be specific things that you can make so there's like you can make fences it tells you how to make floors you can make reinforced fires and different things so uh, if there's something that you didn't know existed just look through here and you'll be able to see every th single thing that you can make in the game and that's why it's important to know things like the fences and the reinforced you know skull posts and things and it's a great way to spruce up your buildings and also over in the other mode there's ones under the furniture there's beds there's chairs there's chandeliers there's wall torches which are really cool for sprucing up the you know any of your buildings making them look cooler and stuff there's ceiling skull lamps there's all sorts of cool stuff to add detail to your buildings so don't forget that those exist uh that's my last advanced tip to make sure that you remember there's lots of cool stuff in there that you wouldn't be able to access otherwise uh hope this video helped you out guys if it did Check out the description of this video for other helpful Sons of the Forest videos, exploit videos, building guides, treehouse guides, all sorts of cool stuff down in there. Also, if you want to support me, just check out Art Gallery Simulator on Steam. It's a game that I'm working on. There's a link for that in the description of this video. Just go there and wishlist it. That would help me out a lot. But that's it for me, guys. Uh, this has been my advanced tips and tricks videos for building. And hopefully I'll make more in the future. But for now, I just wanted to get you started with some basic ones that I hope you know. I'm, I'm sure some of you already know all of them, but hopefully there were some in here that helped you out a lot. Now you know some more advanced building tips in Sons of the Forest.